All right, and the, the next one we wanted to cover on the same topic is from ZDNet.com. NSA reports this is how you should be securing your network. The U.S. Yep. spy agency uh, has given its most up-to-date guidance for protecting networks against attacks. And what does that have to do with the Ukraine situation? All right, if it hasn't happened to you already, if you're in any kind of IT leadership, your mailbox is probably getting flooded from your customers asking about whether or not you are taking elevated pr- protections to to ensure that your network is prepared for cyber attack. Uh, th- that has been kind of a, a, a dialogue that's been floating around the last few weeks is, hey, the Russians are really good at cyber mm-hmm. warfare. And so we've all just kind of been waiting for that shoe to drop where like, hey, we're all going to start getting hammered really hard. So uh, many companies are reaching out to all the vendors that they deal with and saying, hey, are you taking elevated precautions? Well, the NSA put out a document showing, here's what we consider like the minimum you need to be doing. Um, The document's pretty basic. There's not really anything uh, groundbreaking in there, Uh, but it's definitely worth a read. Uh, If you you can just Google for it, the NSA report on network security, uh, or I'm sure we can throw a link in like the episode description. Does it feel like it was written by an actual analyst or by a bureaucrat uh, <laughs> that uh, doesn't know how computers work? So it, it's written by an analyst, okay. but it is kind of, some of it's kind of low-hanging fruit, like, you know, use complex passwords, that kind of stuff. It's not like, you know, here's a ACL you should have in yeah. place on your router, uh, but it goes into how you should be securing SSH, HTTP, uh, settings you can do on your switches and firewalls to protect from certain attacks. And I didn't, I, I read through the thing. It's only 50 pages long, so it's not a, a hard read. Uh, I didn't see anything in there that I didn't know already, mm. uh, but it is kind of a nice checklist. You need to make sure that you're doing these things and your customers may start requiring that you do these things or you might lose customers. Well, maybe maybe the people will say, oh, this comes from the NSA. And it's, like you said, it's a nice checklist. Yeah. I'll just walk my way down this and maybe I'll be a little more secure because I wasn't doing these things yeah, to begin it's with. not a bad thing. A lot of people don't. I mean, we see the most common password lists come out and it's like, mm-hmm. oh, one, two, three, four, five, six is your password. It's one of the most common passwords. How about that? That's dumb. We should probably change that. And here's a here's an NSA man telling me yep. that very thing. And I always trust those three-letter agencies. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I did read something today, too, that said, it, it, well, we talked a couple weeks before the invasion that... Uh, that they were warning, be prepared, there will be uh, more ransomware attacks and things like that if there is an invasion. And they were saying it's not been as bad as they thought. And part of that is because of Ukraine's defense. But I was wondering, I mean, do you think it's because there have been so many attacks the other way that that Russia's kind of busy playing defense? Well, I I wonder if... um if they're as effective as they as they've always Claimed. said they were, mm. right? Yeah. So let's go all the way back to not Petya, right? Uh, when when that spread across, it was targeted at Ukraine yep. and and hit banks and other institutions all across the country and was viewed as a cyber warfare attack against them, right? Well, we never definitively proved like, hey, this came from like the Vladimir Putin knew about yeah, this or right. authorized the attack or whatever. We traced it back to Russia. We blame it, you know, on them, but we didn't necessarily know was that a state run attack. So it's possible that it wasn't a state run attack, that it was a another criminal organization, just somebody who, who had it out for the Ukrainians. Well, it was like some Russian nationalists or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, they knows. never no they never raised their hand to say that That's was true. us. Yeah. And so now when the actual war breaks out and we don't have a cyber attack, maybe that's that indicator of, hey, they don't actually have that power we thought they did. Interesting. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. That's a theory, yeah. I, I don't know that they'll ever come right out and say, oh, yeah, we did that. But it seems like a well, wasted opportunity. Well, and, and it is that kind of like, like you say, they're never going to come out and, get, and say, this is our capability. Like, mm-hmm. we have this capability. They're always going to want to guile and subterfuge and, and you know, shroud everything in mystery so that we have no idea what yeah. it is their actual capabilities yeah. are. We do that. We do that exact yeah. same thing. That's just how it's done. Yeah, it's more like Vladimir Putin will wink and you'll be like, it was you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. All right. Well, well, we will see what else the bear is up to in the coming weeks. Does I, he wink? I don't I know if he, he can. Would. Yeah, I don't know if he has that capability. I think he, he pays someone to yeah. wink. <laughs> Somebody wink. Hey, Igor, come over here. <laughs> Do the wink. <laughs> and then you never see Igor again. Yeah. <laughs> because weak. he can do something that Vladimir can't. Yeah. Oh, got to get rid of that. <laughs> If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.